In this video, we are going to have a look at the scalar product of two vectors and how it relates to the angle between the two vectors. So this is a very common uh, key concept in every IB Maths exam. Okay, so I've given you two vectors, vector u and vector v here. Now, vector u uh, and vector v are both in i, j and k form. If you wanted to put them in column form, you could. So vector u is also 3, 2, 1 and vector v would be 5, negative 4, and negative 2. So hopefully we've seen the difference between uh, these two forms. Now I'm going to find the scalar product of these two vectors, and I will find the answer first, and then we'll explain what it means and how it relates to some, some of these topics. So in our formula booklet, we get these two formulas, uh, these three formulas actually, and we want to use this formula here to find the scalar product. So the scalar product of two vectors, so our one's u dot v, this is the dot or scalar product, different textbooks use different words. So we can find it by just multiplying the i components of each of the two vectors, so the numbers. So 3 multiplied by 5, 3 times 5. And then we're going to add and we'll multiply the j terms, so 2 and negative 4. Be careful of the negative in front of the terms, that makes it a negative. Then we're going to add, and it'll be 1, because if it, we have a i, j, or k by itself, there is an invisible 1 in front of it. So it'll be 1 multiplied by negative 2. Okay, so u dot v, the dot product, will be 15 minus 8 minus 2. So u dot v is 15 minus 10, which is 5. Okay, so this is the answer to our scalar product of the two vectors. And the next question I often get asked is, well, what does this mean? What does the scalar product answer mean? U dot V equals five. And the number itself doesn't mean too much. It's used in, more, in different formulas, but we will discuss that if this number is a positive number, so I'll get a different pen here. I'll get here. If u dot v is some positive number, so greater than zero, this does tell us some information about our two vectors. It means that the angle between our two vectors, u and v, if I were to draw them, u and v, if it's greater than zero, it means that they are acute. The angle is acute between the two vectors. And acute means it's between 0 and 90 degrees. So this means that the angle between them will be between 0 and 90 degrees, which is acute. Okay, so the, the actual size of the number isn't too important about whether it's acute or not. It just needs to be positive. Now, if the dot product came out to be a negative value, so less than 0, the angle between the two vectors will be obtuse. So it'll be between 90 and 180 degrees. It would be obtuse. And maybe pause the video and have a think, what, what would this mean? If the dot product was zero, would it be acute or would it be obtuse? Well, it's actually going to be the angle between the two vectors will be exactly 90 degrees, which is perpendicular. Perpendicular. And this is a very important concept if you want to answer uh, some of the more difficult IB math exam questions in paper one without a calculator. They often say that the, the scalar product of two vectors is equal to zero, and you need to know that, oh, that means that the two vectors are actually perpendicular. And that might help you then solve the rest of the question. Okay, so what we have done is we have uh, we have found the dot product of our equation using this equation here. And then the other two equations for vectors that are related to this topic. Put a star next to them here and here. Notice that they are actually the same equation. They've just been rearranged. So v dot w is equal to the magnitude of v multiplied by the magnitude of w cos theta. And if we just divide the magnitudes underneath, it's the same formula. So often people you know, get confused and they think, well, there's two formulas here for the scalar product. Which one do I use? Well, we use this one first to just get a value for what v dot w is. 
or the scalar product of two vectors. And then we use the answer, which for our question would be negative five, uh, which would be positive five. We use this in the other equation to then solve for theta, the angle between. So let's go ahead and do that for our, for our question. So we can use either of the top or bottom equation. I'm going to use the bottom to find the angle between two vectors. So I know u, I know v dot w, actually I'll put ours, cos theta will be u dot v over the vector u times the vector v, their magnitudes. We know this is five. We need to find the magnitude of vector u and the magnitude of vector v. And we do that just by using Pythagoras. So I'll do this over here. The magnitude of u will be the square root of all of the components squared. So 3 squared plus 2 squared plus 1 squared. Vector u will be the square root of now 9 plus 4 plus 1. Well, 1 plus 9 is 10 plus 4 is 14. So the size of vector u, the magnitude, is going to be root 14. And v, this will be 5 squared plus negative 4 squared plus negative 2 squared. So the magnitude of vector v will be the square root of now 25 plus 16 plus 4. 16 and 4 is 20 plus 25 is 45. So once we've found the magnitudes, we can sub them into our angle between two vectors formula. And this says that cos theta is our dot product answer. So we need we got this by using the dot product formula here. So it's 5 over and it'll be root 14 multiplied by root 45. And to solve for theta, we just need to do cos to the negative 1 and put this in. Okay, we can do that on our calculator. Get our calculator out. If we want to find theta in degrees, make sure we are in degrees mode. So I'm in degrees mode here. So we can just go cos to the negative 1, 5 over root 14, multiplied by root 45. Now, before I press enter and get my answer, we know that because our Scalar product was a positive answer. We're going to get an acute angle between our vectors. So this answer should be between 0 and 90 degrees. And it is 78.5 degrees. So 78.5 degrees. So this will be the angle between our two vectors. Okay, as a quick summary, if we are given two vectors, we can find the scalar product of them by just multiplying the i, j, and k components and adding them up, which we got here. Now, this number, it's not super important by itself. It's used in the scalar product uh, formula over here and here where we can find theta, and that's very important, the angle between two vectors. Because vectors are, are boats, they're planes, they're trains, and if we want to find the angle between them, it might be useful so they don't collide up in the air or, or on the water. Okay, and then we found the magnitudes of each of the vectors, and we used our angle between two vectors equation to solve. Okay, hopefully you uh, got a few tips out of this question. Uh, I hope you practice a few more, and good luck.